Good day everybody, this is Jerry from BSK Garage. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the headlight switch out of a Jeep Wrangler, but also commonly used in many other Dodge vehicles. I'm actually swapping out a clock spring, but I'm going to show you how to replace the headlight switch. So, headlight switch is held in place by one bolt, but there's three bolts that are holding the steering cover council on. There's one right there, and I shine my little light up there. You're going to see another hole right there and another hole right there now on my jeep it is a t20 torx and other vehicles i've seen it being one torx and two phillips and in order to get the ones out that are deep inside the council you need an actual screwdriver and not one of those tools that you could put the the bit in because they just will not reach up inside so the easy torx is out first now I got the screwdriver up inside there, removing the Torx from the console. So what those long bolts do is that they go through the clock spring and then tighten up to the cover on the very top. So you have to make sure that those are out. And there's only three bolts in total. Remove them and then you're good to go. This is actually a very easy, simple project. And it should take you about 10 minutes to get this done. So you can see right now the cover is already loose. Last bolt is out. Now you just got to grab the bottom cover and give it a yank. And it just slides right out. And then move the steering wheel down. And then you could fish the top piece out and put it up top or wherever you want. Now in this next clip, you can see the electrical wire at the back there. And also on the right of my finger, you can see a Phillips screw. So you want to remove that main electrical. And then, as you can see in this clip with the clock spring, I'm removing the screw. The headlight switch just slides out. And you got that yellow ribbon cable that goes over to your wipers. And you just disconnect that. And then you pull it out. So a couple things you want to line up before you put it back in. One is that little notch on the bottom goes right there. And then this one on the side will slide right on top. Now I found it's easier to put the electrical on first, plug it in. This is also a good time to inspect it for any kind of damage or chafing of the wires. And then you line up the notches to slide it in and then slide it in place. Make sure that ribbon cable is not pinched. Put the Phillips screw back in, grab your screwdriver, tighten it down. Plug the main electrical back into the back of the headlight switch and you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.